Today I'm showing you how you can use worst head client for <laughs> Minecraft Java edition. Um, I totally forgot this was my skin. Sorry about that. Um, I'm in currently in 1.20.2, and if you want to know how to download it, then I will link a tutorial for that in the description. Um, but basically, this should be the same for every single version until there's an extremely major update. And if there is, you will know by looking at the pinned comment if there is one. Anyways, um, about the skin. I mean, I promise I'm not a seven-year-old. I just did this for a, a, a video a cool video by the way it's called weekly dose of minecraft and if you want a weekly dose of minecraft then check the description because it's there and um i make those weekly so that's cool anyways i've wasted enough of your time let's get in how to use this so first off the kind of the basics right here to open up the general menu you want to press on the right shift button not on the left one but on the right one um, and then you can search up here and basically you can search for any hack that you want as you can see there's an extremely large amount of things you can choose from so um, I recommend first of just going through this hovering above each of these which will give you a brief little description of what they're about you can see that there are green arrows over here and if you actually click on that then um, as you can see you'll get a you'll get a little box of whatever it is so in this case it's aim assist here you can see the type the category so this is combat we'll get the description here and then we can uh, view the settings and actually change those as well so this is going to be our range um, our rotation speed this is what we want our FOV to be and basically you can just um, customize this to however you want as well as actually set a key bind and now that is actually going to be the same for all of these um, as you can see some will have more or less um, customizability however you can set a keybind for all of them if you wish to do so and almost all of them have some customizability to them you can also enable and disable them through here or you can just do that by clicking on them in this menu if a hack is enabled you'll see it in the uh, top left hand side under the worst logo there as you can see basically that um, Anyways, now that's kind of the hack menu. It is pretty self-explanatory, especially if you've used stuff like this before. Now, if you press on escape, you'll see that there is a worst options um, over here. Also, I got many questions about this previously, but worst means sausage in German. That's why, you know, this is also a picture of a sausage and it's it's not the worst client. Trust me. <laughs> um, anyways, basically here you will find some general settings or actually only four general settings. Um, you will find all the official links to all the uh, worst hack client stuff as you can see over here. And here we have some interesting things. So um, we have a general keybinds manager. So most keybinds are going to actually be unassigned. However, some will be automatically assigned as you can see. Now you can also add custom keybinds over here as well as edit existing ones and remove them too if you wish to do so. If you wish to use different keybinds for, for example, different mini games or stuff like that, you can go over to profiles here, make a new profile, and you can basically create a bunch of profiles, each for different purposes. Now under this managers tab, there's also an x-ray and a zoom manager. So basically they are the same as all these things in here. Um, just like this area, but then larger, I suppose. Um, so here for the x-ray blocks, this is just for the x-ray. Um, so if we turn on the x-ray now, it's going to filter out all of these blocks that are right over here. So we can choose to um, remove them. We can choose to add certain blocks to here. Um, and basically like this, you can completely customize um, what this um, what, what the actual x-ray is going to x-ray for. And if you actually want uh, to enable the x-ray, you can scroll down to almost the very bottom over here, and you'll see that it is the dot x-ray right over there. If you click on this arrow here, um, it's not actually going to bring you to that page, as you can see. Um, so now you also actually have another one over here, which is the zoom and Basically, this one is a lot less large. You can adjust um, or decrease the custom zoom. Um, as you can see, I can press on it right here. Uh, very cool. So now there is actually a few more also interesting or 
um, noteworthy things. So if you scroll on to the very bottom, you'll see that the basically alphabet order actually ends, and then here we have a bunch of other things. So this keybinds button is basically a shortcut to right there um, where we were earlier. So you see that logo right in the top over there. That's the worst logo. So you can click on that and then you can change the visibility to only when outdated. And that is actually going to hide that logo, which is definitely pretty useful. And if you don't want to hide it, you can also, um, if you wish, change the background um, or text color. As I said earlier, I can click on things. There we are. So these two are now actually going to be enabled. And we'll see that that is the, um, where is it? The hack list right over here. And actually similar to the worst logo, um, you can, as I said, customize this uh, you, and you can actually hide it as well. So you can change it to how many hacks are active or just hide it all together. As you can see, once again, also giving you the option to change the color if you wish to do so. So as I said, at the bottom over here, after this alphabet sort kind of ends, um, you will have all of these other kind of utilities, I suppose, more. Now once again to do with the UI, you can actually also turn on the rainbow UI and that is also going to apply to the worst logo as well as actually the hacked list. And now finally in this menu you actually also have a thing over here which um, allows you to disable worst as you can see. Um, you can also enable actually a keybind for that through here. Um, I believe it's not set by default which is something I do recommend. Anyways you can't actually disable it through here. To disable it you want to click on escape, go into statistics right over here and then you'll find this hidden disable worst button. The reason why it's hidden here is because this won't actually remove the uh, client entirely. So as you see, I can click on disable here and then I will also actually have the option to enable it once again as well and I can do that whenever I wish to do so. Um, and for right now, as you can see, I can press on uh, right shift and nothing is going to work. I can click on escape and there is no extra button there. I can go to statistics, enable worst, and now, as you can see, I can click on uh, the right shift again and open this up. Anyways, basically, that was that. If you have any further questions or something, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. As I said, if you do want a tutorial on how to actually download this, then I will put that in the description. Anyways, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.